And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Morose, which was a request from PaleoMike716 via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a tyrannosauroid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Utah in the U.S., Cedar Mountain Formation. It looked like a small theropod, you know, walked on two legs and it had sharp teeth and feathers. And we did talk about Morose back in episode 223 as a news item when it was first named, but we're bringing it up again here because it was in Jurassic World Dominion. It was in the preview during that flashback to the Cretaceous where it's eating some rotten flesh stuck in Giganotosaurus teeth. Oh yeah, that's where it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was awesome. And then we see it in a brief scene or cameo in Biosyn, as we mentioned earlier. And it's depicted as feathered in Dominion, which was cool. Mm -hmm. The type species is Morose intrepidus. The genus name is Greek for, quote, the embodiment of impending doom in reference to the establishment of the Cretaceous Tyrannosauroid lineage in North America, end quote. And the species name means intrepid in Latin, and it refers to it probably being an early arrival from Asia. Morose was named in 2019 by Lindsay Zano and others, and the fossils found include a complete right leg and parts of the foot from a subadult. It was about six or seven years old when it died. The limb bones were found jutting out of a hillside in 2013, and then two teeth were found nearby that were probably from Morose. It's estimated to weigh 172 pounds, or 78 kilograms, and its leg was about 4 feet or 1.2 meters long. It was probably pretty quick and nimble. It had these slender foot bones, which were similar into proportion to ornithomimids, and it had a slender tibia that was longer than the femur. Mm. Sometimes that means that they're good sprinters. Yeah. It was lightweight and it had advanced sensory capabilities. And it was carnivorous. It could have run down its prey and stayed away from larger predators, probably. It was found to have a slow to moderate growth rate. And it's about 15 million years older than other known North American tyrannosauroids. Yeah, it's one of those really good ones that filled in a missing piece because we knew we had early tyrannosauroids in Asia, and then we had the really advanced ones that were much bigger in North America, but Morose sort of neatly fit in the middle. Yeah. And Morose lived alongside Deinonychus, the allosauroid seats, pterosaurs, crocodilians, turtles, amphibians, fish, and mammals. 